Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want the classic game show. I'm Mike C. And I'm Fred Wack. Hey, bring you what? Horror story. So whenever you guys see the skull, you already know it's horror story time. Brought to you by your man right here, Fred Watt. And I got a lot of them. All right. Okay. So, so let's go ahead, Fred. This happened at the Target that's across the street from the GameStop <laughs> that I hate so much on Darnell Drive in Forestville, Maryland. Wow. The Target right inside Forestville Mall. Is at the end of, you know where it is. It's right across the street from Target, uh, uh, Walmart. I mean, damn, Walmart. GameStop. GameStop. Shoppers. And, yeah, Shoppers, too, and the mattress store and all. You can see them directly or across the street from each other. Yeah. Okay. All right, Fred, so what happened? All right, so I go in there to pick up some merchandise. Okay, right? like you do. Okay. Uh-huh, like I, like I always do. Mm -hmm. And so I get back there, and it's early in the morning. It's only one guy working there. Mm -hmm. And usually... I go to my man James. He's the most knowledgeable person in Target when it comes to electronics. So I go in there. I'm, I'm calm at this point. There's another gentleman in there. He's asking a dude about TVs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. right? And uh, he's just bunning them up the whole time. So he bunned them up for a good, like, five minutes, and then I got enough of it. I was like, look, man, can you get me da 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 And he was like, okay. So while I was trying to get rung up, the same dude came back, was asking about a Rick Ross CD, right? So he took the cashier's attention away. The cashier could not focus on nothing. Then he went from the Maybach CD or uh, a Rick Ross CD to uh, a smartwatch. And then he was asking these dumbass questions like, man, do I, you got to measure my wrist so I can get this watch? I mean, he was just like random all over the place. He wasn't buying shit. He was just annoying the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, he, he just kept yapping to the dude. And the dude's trying to ring me up in my transaction. And he's just all over the place, man, this, that, and the other. I was like, look, dude, can I? Can you go ahead and finish ringing me up so I can get the hell up out of here? And then the, Lord, the, the guy that was asking all these dumb questions, he was making all these smirks and these comments, laughing and shit like that. But the dude wasn't paying attention, and he rung me up for more than what I paid, and he gave me more change back than I was supposed to get back. Mm -hmm. And that was his damn fault because he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and this happens all the time. At this Target that I go to mm -hmm. on Donnell Drive and Forestville, they, they have no type of good customer service in there. Wow. And, they, and I swear to God, when I come in there, they automatically know me. They, they know me, Mike, and they know I get turned up, right? But the only people that I trust in there is a tall dude. He watches the show. Mm -hmm. um, and then James. Those are the only two dudes that I trust in there. Mm -hmm. The other guys I don't trust. And then when you go there, when you pick up stuff, they say they never have it. Oh, we don't have it. We don't have this. Dude. Then they be like, okay, well, it just came off the truck. I'm like, dude, y'all never push it out when y'all supposed to. Mm -hmm. It's always like this. That Target in Forestville is horrible, man. No customer service. The cashiers can't multitask. If you want to go in there and buy something, he's going to give you more change than you're supposed to get back. I mean, you that's the reason to go. But <laughs> stupid, man. Still sound like a hard story to me. Yeah. <laughs> but that was it. The dumbass customers. And you got, I guarantee you he ain't buying nothing. How you going to go from a TV to a CD to a smartwatch? And who the hell asks the dumb question? Uh, are you going to have to uh, measure my wrist for the watch? Dude, get the fuck out the way, man, so I can finish my transaction, so I can get the hell up out of here. Dumbass, man. Oh, I was heated, man. I was heated, Mike. It sounded like you was, Fred. <laughs> yeah. We just feel better talking about it, though. Yeah, I got it. This is therapeutic now. for Fred. You yeah. know that, right? <laughs> Let's keep some calm. But they're flipping over uh, cars and stuff like that out there, man. So, so the game show is always healthy. You know what? <laughs> when we get our new setup and when I do the hard stories, we're going to have a couch. We're going to have a chair sitting over there. And we're going to start the hard stories like that. Yeah, man, because I need some therapy. a little flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, excuse me, uh, don't you need to measure my wrist and everything? <laughs> the fuck kind of question is that? I have never heard. Uh, oh, yeah. boy, that's funny. 
All right, so uh, like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshowgmail.com. That's Game Show with the name. If you have a horror story, leave some comments about it. Yeah, please. <laughs> Don't forget to hit us up on V-Time. Don't forget to subscribe to become a club, club, club member. All right? Whatever I just said, don't forget to subscribe and do that stuff, man. <laughs> and please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our CMS community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. Right. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. You want the facts? The game show. See you next time. Keep watching. Thanks for tuning in.